Hey man, I don't like trouble. Whoa! Recess. Hey, what's up? Hey man, I don't want to. Drop it! Guys, look what I got. I got a stainless, matte stainless Taurus 942. Just came in. Eight shot cylinder. Look at all these flutes. Look at all these flutes. Very excited. I got three different types of ammo, Fioki, uh, sub, CCI standard, and I got some Federal 36 grain that are pretty fast, 13, 75 feet per second out of a rifle. So we'll see how this does. I like the sight channel because there's a black insert, so it gives you contrast. Black uh, kind of flathead, seems metal there. Here, fit and finish, looks very, very good. Nice checkering on the hammers, all the 856s, everything I've seen. It's just the same frame as the Taurus 856, 6 shot 38 special, as the 605 5 shot uh, 357, I believe as the 905 5 shot 9 millimeter, all in the same awesome frame. This is uh, 23.6 ounces, I believe. They also make an ultra light in black. I'm not sure about the stainless, uh, if you needed an ultra light. So this thing looks pretty cool. And I can't find anything in the manual flipping through it fast about dry firing. Usually you don't want to with a 22 long rifle. But this trigger is insanely light and smooth. In both double action and single action. Um, I'm super impressed. Alright, let's get at it. Before we begin guys, please always thumbs up, share, subscribe. Please help me out. Uh, I borrowed the Slick 50s Model 12 for a bit of a size comparison so I can get a little revolver training day in on my Huckleberry day. And this is the same size as the 856 to 605. And in the top area, it's kind of the same size, but it's definitely not as tall. And it's de yeah, basically as tall, so it's easier to conceal. I don't have an 856 yet. So the point is you get a 22 long rifle trainer to train with to plink with, to have fun with, to get better at shooting. And then you pick up an 8.56, maybe ultralight if you want a pocket carry, maybe standard weight if it's for waistband carry. You pick up an 8.56 ultralight. A six shot is 20% more. That very much could make a difference as a good backup carry or work carry gun. It's very, very small. I just put it in Mika's pocket holster, put it in my pocket to compare them to, and uh, many reasons why. So. This is a K-frame, so compared to a K-frame, the A5.6 and everything's going to be a good bit. You see the trigger guard, how much taller it is? A good bit difference. And the grip, guys, it gives me two and a half fingers. I really like the grip on these because I'm not just dangling with nothing. It wraps underneath, and it gives a very good uh, grip. All right, here we go. And I didn't show you how cool an 8-shot cylinder is yet, guys. Also, guys, they make it in 22 Magnum. I wanted this as a trainer, planker, uh, 22 long rifle. But if you did want it for defense, uh, for someone that's very uh, elderly or disabled, recoil sensitive, they do make it in 22 Magnum with gold dots. That does the job, especially if you get the 3-inch version. Uh, you'd get really good velocity from 22 Magnum and gold dot. So uh, with a 22 long rifle, if you absolutely had to, you know, if it's a frontal shot, it, it might do the job. It might be okay, especially with particular ammo like Federal's New Punch, with CCI um, Velocitor, or with Winchester uh, Varmint 37 grain HE. Those three specifically do very well. Okay? Make sure to look at my unboxing video, and yes, on Revolver Trading Days, I try to wear my say when. Sure, it's all right. Let's get going. Sorry, guys. Give you a decent angle on my shooting here. All right, I'll put uh, eight shots with the Federal 36 grain and the heart on the top right corner. <laughs> shooters, fire shooters, cease fire. Well, I got two in. All right, let's keep going.
And there was eight. Let's see what I did. And I'm not a group shooter, but for my first eight shots, I perforated the heart. That ain't bad. All right, guys, let's go for the house. And uh, Target's online, by the way. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. And there's no recoil on this thing. So it's a great trainer for kids. I mean, like teenagers, teach them the safeties and everything about being a responsible firearms owner. And, uh, you know, first-time shooters and stuff. They'll have a lot of fun. Good sight picture. Great sight picture. Let's see how I did. Again, guys, trainers for me is to have fun, and, you know, I'm not a target shooter. But that's not bad. That is not bad. That's with the Federal. I am not a, a uh, you know, group shooter. But that's not bad, 70 yards. All right. We're saying we're going to rock and roll on, like, body targets, multiple targets if I get a chance later. So always stay tuned. We're just getting used to it. And i got to do single action still, stuff like that. But, boy, this thing's fun. This thing's fun. It would be a great trainer for people. Boy, the trigger on this is so nice to get a, a modern, great revolver trigger, especially 22 long rifle. I'm really happy because other stuff made in the past had really heavy um, trigger springs, guys. So this thing's really fun. Okay. So it looks like with the CCIR, I'm just getting better, uh, more used to the trigger. That's a pretty tight group. That's that's what I'd actually call a group. That's, you know, that's pretty good size right there. Uh, just showing you the size of the group. Anyway, guys, let's go. All right, let's see how it likes the Fiocchi Subsonics. We're going to go for the dining room table set. Is that seven or eight? I don't know if that was seven or eight. I usually count. And I shot the eighth off camera. So I got three dead center where I was aiming, and it was probably just me going a little high. It's still a pretty good tight group, but me was with the CCI standard. Okay, 15 yards. Let's go for the top right circle. Single action. I haven't tried it all yet, so let's do that uh, with the Subsonics. Okay, let's see what I did. So, not awesome. I did five okay-ish. I mean, those are okay, and I did three bad. Though I mean, the trigger is great. It's just me, and the front blade's a little wide, uh, and I don't have, I'm, you know, it was my 44th birthday a couple days ago, so I got to get some orange on the front side. I do have a video how to do that. I will be doing it uh, to this revolver, because this revolver, I think, it's a keeper. This is a awesomely fun trainer. All right, guys, I'm going to go 15 yards to the body with the uh, CCI this time. It's a very thin target. If I miss, don't make fun of me. Hold a couple left, but we'll see. So not great on me. I got about a seven and a half inch spread, and it did hit a little bit high for me. Uh, very thin targets, like I said. So about a seven and a half inch spread, but I mean, I hit the body at 15 yards. So you know, I got to work on things a little bit. All right, time for save the cheerleader, save the world drill. Let her go, douchebag. Point it at me. I missed him, I missed him, but I wouldn't go for his eye. Let's see. 
The cheerleader is saved. I got five right here. Beautifully tight group in the here. That was pretty rapid in the tee box. I think I got two in the same hole, either here or here. Two in the same hole and one there. But, I mean, five right here. Five or six, maybe. I can't tell if it's two in the same hole there or there. Honest to God, there ain't nothing else going on. I saved the cheerleader. Guys, this is why you get something like the Taurus 942 as a training revolver. 22 long rifle, fun, cheap. I just did my carry gun at tw uh, 15 yards. I made all headshots. Okay, that's the only one pulled a little high. Everything else, multiple rounds in the same holes. Very easy to do once I switched over to my carry gun at 15 yards. And I did, I think, two shots uh, at seven yards, drawed a headshot probably within about 2.1, 2.2 seconds. Um, maybe even under two seconds. So... That's why it's good to train with revolvers. And I can have fun for a second. Three bad guys. Hey man, I want you. Whoa! When you evaluate, look for the leading person, the getaway driver, often a woman. Yeah. Let's run that again. Hey man, I want you. Whoa! Recess. One more time. Hey, dude, only trouble. Hey, man. Drop it! Man, got a couple misfires that time. Revolvers are good. They keep going. All right, guys, last time I think they did all go off, but because they're subsonic, a couple were probably really putty, and I didn't have all the recoil, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let me do something left-handed because if I would carry a snubby, that's a backup gun in my offside, my left hand front pocket, even though I'm right-handed, or as a deep concealment uh, type uh, revolver. Okay, let me just do a couple shots left-handed. And they're all in there, not bad. And you guys might notice I'm usually only firing two per three bad guys because I'm using it as a trainer for a six shot snubby, you know? Like I'm keeping that in mind. Um, anyway, let's do it left handed because if I would have carried, and I have borrowed a slick snubby a couple times for deep concealment, it's pretty much going to be left hand or where you're carried. Okay, so anyway. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, I don't want to. Drop it! And all good, upper thoracic hits on him, even though it was left-handed. All right, guys, now I'm going to run the same three attacker drill, one-handed, offside, left-handed. Why? Because it's trading, and it's pretty cheap on 22, at least back in the day. When his COVID hit, I bought some 22, so I'm having a heck of a lot of fun today. Okay, with the Taurus, 942, gets a thumbs up for me. Already got 150, 60 rounds to it already. Almost 180 by now. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? No, man, I can't help you out. No, I got no money for it. Drop it! Hey, I don't want to... I don't want to... Whoa! Get out of there. Or if you have because it's 942. Let's run, let's run one more drill, left hand and offside hand from pocket holster as if you're carrying, using this as a trainer for your 856. Ultralight as a backup gun, something good to do. Hey guys, I don't want to trouble. I don't want to trouble. Back up! Hey, I don't want to trouble. Hey, man, I don't want to trouble. Hey, man, I don't All right, guys, what if all you did have was a 942? And 22 Magnum, that's going to have much better actual, a little bit of stopping power. 22 Long Rifle, though, I'm going to go for, you know, the areas that I think are good target areas. So let's see if I can cylinder dump in this dude's face. Yeah, you may resume fire. All right, let's cylinder dump in this dude's face. Back off! 
Let's see what happened. Well, can a 22 long rifle be effective? Yeah, I'd say so. I got six right here, seven, eight, right there. That was pretty fast. So for someone very recoil sensitive, I'm not saying it's the best option for everybody. I'm not going to be careful. But if that's all you had, or elderly, arthritis, whatever, it was a backpacking fun, out with a bullet's gun, but something's better than nothing, especially if you aim for good target. So guys, the Taurus 942 has been awesome. It's been absolutely awesome. It's been a lot of fun, as you can tell. I got about 24, five more rounds I'm going to shoot off, uh, which will be probably 180 to 200 rounds. Good quality control. Everything out of Taurus has been very, very good the last few years. Um, so don't let the internet dissuade you. Uh, I need do need to put some orange on the front post. I do have a video on doing that. I will do that to that to this because this is a keeper. And at least the trigger on mine is friggin' sweet. And on every 856 that I have handled. And maybe someday I'll get one of those. Look at my top five carrier revolvers video. Thumbs up. Share. Subscribe. Get down in the comment section. And uh, pick yourself up one of these when you can. Guys, please thumbs up. Share. Subscribe. Really helps me out. You know the algorithms are against 2A. The algorithms are against us. Sorry about the gunfire. But beautiful revolver. Great trigger. Very fun. Train your family. Train your friends. Take new shooters out. Try to be positive. And guys, all that stuff, Taurus 942, pick one up. Pick one up. It's been great. Gone through a heck of a lot of rounds. It's been a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, guys, I've really, really enjoyed it. The extra flutes look super, super cool. Eight-shot cylinder, a great trainer for, like, your 856 ultralight. You might want to carry offside front pocket as a backup gun, like I recommend, or as a work gun. Okay, is the non permissive environment gun, six shots, 38 special plus P, really good. HS22 long rifle is a trainer, really good. Here, subscribe, guys. And uh, Taurus942 gets a double thumbs up from the Wolfman. Take care, everybody.